here mainly I selected a worker named as Betty. Okay, and you can see, see, selected worker, another work, select another worker. This one already has a talent review in progress. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. I will select another worker because just right now I did here. So that is the reason I will select some other worker. Uh, Logan, not Logan. I will select Mark. Maybe some other employee. I took him before okay, this one as well. Someone has run it. Mm, let me select some random one then. So I am starting a talent review for this worker right now. Okay. So you can see. This has been started, and this will work as per the business process that has been defined. Okay, mm -hmm. because as I mentioned earlier, there is a business process for the talent review. Okay, right. So whatever step is defined over there, based on that, it will go step by step. Okay. Right now, I have started. Talent review for this worker. Okay, right now again, what I'm going to do is again I'm going to start. Okay, for this one still it's un under the still it is in the process. Okay, can you see this? Mm -hmm. Let me show that. I hope you might have seen, like it was in process and update my profile was reflecting. Let me show if I can proxy. Mm. Okay, his work day account is not created. So mainly what I'm trying to tell you is, if we have started a talent review for any worker. We cannot start another review until or unless the first one is completed. If you see, yeah. if I try to start another one for this employee, it is giving an error stating select another worker. This one already has a talent review in progress. If in case the one that is in progress, that is completed, then we are good to start and another review for that worker. Did you get this? Yep. This is what mainly I was referring yesterday. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Now we will discuss about the unbox report. So when we were launching the calibration yesterday, we had to select a calibration program. And in the calibration program, okay, the calibration program will run based on the unbox report that we have. Okay. So now we are going to create a custom report. Okay. Yeah. For the unbox. Okay. So what is custom report? There are a few reports which is already available in Workday. Apart from that, what way you create is custom report. Yes. We have so many Workday delivered reports, but that is not sufficient. Okay. So based on our need, we create various report that we want. Yeah. Okay. So for that, we create a custom report. 
Okay. Yes. You can give any name here. So regarding the report, we can give it as any name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever we want. Talking about the report type, there are various report type in custom report that we have. Okay. If you see here, advanced, composite, matrix, and box, search, simple, transposed, and trending. So here we are talking about the end box report. Okay. That we will be making. Okay. So have, as we have already worked on reporting. Okay. So what is the main thing here? It's the report type that you want to choose. I mean, uh, this time I think. So report we type, to... we can select anything. But the main thing, okay, that we have is the data source that we want to create. Okay, you're yeah, asking about over this screen or, or you were asking about the report type. I So report type, you have already mentioned that you have already worked in advanced and matrix. If we talk about composite, it's a combination of multiple search. I have not ever used it. Okay. Simple report. Mainly we use for very simple thing. Okay. But that also gets complicated with time. Okay. So mainly what I wanted to say is there are various reports that we have, but whenever we are dealing with this calibration, okay, mm -hmm. we will be making an box report. Okay. okay. And here you can see when we selected an unbox, uh, this option that we had that has been gone. Okay, so here you have optimized for performance. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what is the use of this one? Optimized for performance? Uh... See, I have clicked on that checkbox and we see showing only index data source. Okay, you can select okay. optimize for performance to show all data source. So what mainly this does is if you are selecting this, yeah. okay, so it will show you all the data source that is there. Okay. See, you can see if you unselect this, then it will show us all the data source. Data source is nothing but from where we'll be pulling out the data. So for an example, there are different, different types of data source that we have. For an example, this is someone randomly who has created Okay, so you can see higher employee events. Okay, yeah. so there are a number of things that you can see from here. Correct? Yeah. yeah. So, based on the data that we want to pull out, for an example, if I'm making a report where I want the data related to all the employees of all workers, okay? Mm -hmm. All workers. See here, you have an option of all index worker, whereas if you only type worker, workers for HCM reporting. So there are different, different, these all are the data source that we have. Okay. Yeah. So I hope you got what is the data source. That is mainly a brief. Okay. I will show you like for an example. Now I am going to create an inbox report. Okay. I will just give a name, random name, Raj Talent Calibration. Okay. And in the report type, as these we are going to make for inbox reporting, I will just select the inbox option. And in the data source, 
Okay. Okay. If you there are so many data source that we have. Okay. For this worker calibration. Okay. So mainly what we are going to do here is I will select a data source related to worker calibration. See, if you select the worker calibration, these three are the options that you have. Okay. Okay. The first one is indexed completed worker calibration event, indexed in progress worker calibration event, indexed in progress worker calibration placement. Okay. So, what is our target here? So for an example, like as I mentioned, like we have okay. created a report for different, different purpose. For an example, if I want to create a report, Nbox report, where I want to get the details about the worker who has completed their calibration event. Okay. Access mm -hmm. to the worker's completed calibration event as its primary object returns the calibrated value specific to a worker for a completed calibration event. But here, we are not willing to create a report for the calibration event. We are trying to, mainly here, we are trying to check like what is, we are do, trying to do the calibration event here, correct? In that scenario, we will mainly select this indexed in progress worker calibration event. Like, if you are willing to run any calibration event, okay, this is the one that you'll be selecting. Here you can see the primary business object is worker calibration event, access a worker's in progress calibration event as its primary object. Okay, so this is the one that we will select for all the calibration events that we want to run. Okay. Okay. As we move forward. So this is the basic. What is the use of other two? I mean, if you can answer this in a single line, what, what exactly the use of other two options? So see. So for an example, if you want to run the calibration for already for whom the calibration event is completed. Okay. So in that scenario, you will use that data source. Okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. the index in workers in progress worker calibration placement. If we are talking about the calibration placement, if in case calibration another thing is done, okay, in that scenario, we'll consider this. If we want to check if the workers say, uh, if the workers calibration event is completed, and at that point of time. If I want to get a report, then I will select the first one. But right now, we see there will be calibration event that will be going on. So mainly here, where we are using this inbox report, okay, that we are creating right now. It's in the launch calibration. Okay. Right. In the launch calibration, there is a calibration program that we will be creating, okay, where we want to. So there will be different, different calibration program. Like as you, let me give you a recap once again. So whenever we create any inbox report, okay, what is the use? The use of this inbox report is to link this report to a calibration program. Okay. And when we are launching the calibration, maybe Workday enables us to update the data in that program. 
until or unless the calibration event is completed. That is the reason why we are selecting the in progress option, not the completed one, nor the placement one. Did you get this? Mm -hmm. Let me show you. First of all, mainly we have to understand like why we are creating this Nbox report. If we know the purpose, then we will be able to understand like why we are selecting that option. For an example, like yesterday we were seeing, we were selecting something from here. Yeah. First option. We are selecting some calibration program. Mm -hmm. So whenever we are launching any calibration program, okay, what it was doing? It was asking us to sell, uh, select a calibration program. Okay. For an okay. example, I selected any random calibration program here. Then based on that calibration program, this calibration will be launched or run. Launch calibration is nothing but running the calibration. But this calibration program is interlinked with this end box report. Okay. And for mm -hmm. that purpose, we are creating this end box report. And why we are selecting this? The reason being the report that we are creating, we want this report to be linked with the calibration program and launch the calibration. Okay. Because whenever we create any inbox report, it enables us to update the data that we have, okay, in that calibration program until or unless the calibration event is completed. Okay. okay. So for this purpose, we are creating this. So that is the reason why we are selecting this indexed in progress worker calibration event. Okay. Okay. If we talk about the report tags, okay. So mainly this is related to talent. Okay, that we are doing. Let me see if we have any talent. Yes, it's there. So if you see this, So the main purpose why we are creating this report, so we have to define, we can define multiple, but right now I'm just defining this as a talent. Okay. Now the main thing will come into picture. Okay. So if you see this, mm -hmm. what do you think? Talking about this field, the matrix in which we want. Okay. What mm -hmm. this matrix is mainly reflecting us? Uh, as of now, I think you have to define the rules the same. I mean, based on which that will calculate your data uh, for, for the rule. Yes. So, mainly in this matrix tab, we have to select the calibration values. Okay and the layout of the report that we want. Okay, that is what mainly we do. As you can see your matrix. So in whichever form we want the layout of this report, we will select that. And apart from that, we will select the calibration value. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mainly here we are referring to calibration. Okay. So if you select, if you normally write, calibration okay so there are so many calibration that we can run okay and this all are work they deliver okay can you see this yeah <clears throat> out of this which one we can se select it is completely dependent upon our requirement Suppose, for an example, let me see if there is anything related to performance calculation. Yeah. 
you actually select something to validate. Okay. So, for an example, here you can see. So, whichever option, there are so many options that you can see. You can go to the details section and you can see why this is used. Like if you see for the calibration program, it gives us the data, okay, related to workers calibration plan. Okay. Yes. If we want to know about the rating, okay, for using calibration only, and all this field that you can see, which is related to, uh, which is written in a format of calibration semicolon, that will only be used in the calibration. In, will not be used in anything else. Okay. okay. So, for an example, right now, I am talking about. If I want to select for maybe overall performance rating that I want to go for, then I can mm -hmm. select this option. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I want to do the calibration based on the talent based performance rating, okay, then I can use this. So let us select this option for now. Okay. Talking about this label override. So you can see this is what it has been written, but in the output, I want it to be written in the format of performance. So I can just write in whichever way I want this to be executed. Okay. Okay. Rows total descending, ascending, in whichever form we want, we can select. Okay. Okay. Now scrolling down. So right now we are just seeing about the matrix like that we will discuss about all this okay maximum number of rows this is pretty simple that we use like mm -hmm. for example if we want only uh, 250 rows we can select that if in case you want uh, it to be at the higher side well, this mm -hmm. can request We can select as many as you want. For example, I just putting it. Hide total row. If the total row that is popping up, if you want to hide that, we can even do that. Uh, okay. okay. Now coming to this column grouping. Okay. okay. So as you saw. The first one that we had was row grouping and this is nothing but column grouping. Are we able to interlink something? Why we have here column and why we have here row grouping? Yeah, I mean, matrix report gives you an option to uh, calculate your data uh, in terms of the metrics, of course, uh, like yes. axis. Yes. As you, I hope you might have got like uh, yesterday I was giving an example of axis, x axis, y axis. Okay. Yes. So that's how, because see, we have given, we are given two different grouping. One is related to row grouping, which will be mm -hmm. running based on the talent based performance reporting. And the mm -hmm. another one that we are giving a column reporting. Okay. Yeah. This is. 
this was again a calibration field okay that we set okay and in the same way this is another calibration field that we are setting it up okay here i will select some other calibration that i want not the one that i have selected here uh, let me select let us select potential hmm a little over right i will write here potential so what we are going to do based on the performance and potential i will be creating an inbox report which will be interlinked with calibration program and we will run the calibration okay okay here we can define the columns as well okay and this inbox display okay if we talk about this inbox display section it specifies whether the output of this report that they will be getting okay whether we want to display any image or maybe image and text that you can see if you want to have only image i can select image only if i want to select image and text i can select this option this is related to the report output that we will be getting for an example okay so mm -hmm. in generic way that we use here if i want to get the workers image as well to be displayed okay so then what i can do i will just randomly select photo and let us see if you click on this mm -hmm. workers photo because see we are running this calibration for some workers okay right so if at that point of time i want the image as well i can select that okay if i want to have image as well as some text we have that option as right now we are just taking this image option okay okay if in case a worker doesn't have any image then there will be a blank if in case in work day we have to set up the photo that we have okay hmm. if in case it is not there uh it gives you blank of that blank. right okay and there is one more scenario like for an example if there are so many workers okay so in that scenario a crowd icon is there okay hmm. uh, that will pop up okay okay and for your information each box that we will be having that we will be getting in the output it displays uh, up to 2000 images okay but if in case if it has more than that in any such scenario okay we can do it okay so this was that we discussed okay about the matrix tab that we had now we'll discuss about the drill down tab like what this drill down is because you i'm not sure uh, uh you might have seen this maybe in the advanced report and all okay so what mm -hmm. mainly we'll define it so mainly in this drill down tab okay we have to configure the fields okay that we want to display in the calibration list yep. okay for an example like what are the fields that you want to be displayed over there that is what mainly we are going to highlight here okay okay if you want to display the default fields you can select that but i want to specify a fields here okay and i will mention whatever field i want based on the requirement like first one would be calibration let me select calibration and let me select stand up here so the first one that we have selected is calibration potential i will select that after that the another criteria that we had calibration what was the name 
talent base apart from that we can select different different fields that we want okay mm -hmm. mainly what this field is going to do is this is going to display the additional fields okay or additional details about the worker for an example i want to have the location as well yeah i know i mean uh, it's it's kind of drill down of uh, the value that you will be displaying in the dashboard right yes correct Yeah. Okay. Now uh, let us select age. For example, if I want to have the organization, I can select that. So let me select mm -hmm. randomly now. Job profile can we have? Job profile. Let me see what all we have. I want to see what we have in about worker. Event about worker for Pacer G Search. Initiating worker. Let us see three only. Let's not add anything extra. Yes. But we can add, okay, whatever we want. If in case there is something that is not popping up, and still I want to get it to be displayed, then we can place a calculated field, and mm -hmm. we can do that. Okay. Yep. Yep. So this is what mainly we can add. Okay. If we and here at the label override, this was I can write by which name I want to get it displayed. Or we should just let us keep in that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the detail section, if you want to add any specific data, okay, in terms of that you want to get reflected, let me see if we can do this. Okay. Uh, delay display as thumbnail do not show if empty so we can create if in case we want any other details of uh, that process uh, that report that is running okay mm. we can select this okay if i want to check do not show if empty let us select display as thumbnail we have multiple option okay okay like that we can add as we as we have we want Based on the requirement, we can add a worker as well. Let us add few.
We do not have. Anything? Let's take this as a plan. Again, in the sort, we can mention whether we want in the form of uh, ascending, descending, okay. Mm -hmm. Dealer options that we have selected, whether we want to disable, okay, all dealing for the report, disable, drill to details for the report, okay. So, whatever you want to select, for an example, like you can see here, drilling the data is nothing but getting more data. Okay. Yeah. Now talking about filter, like the one that we are running right now, okay, this report, okay, who all do you want to be here? Okay, so mainly we can randomly select, mainly we are doing this for worker, so let us select some worker type. See, we are not having all the data here that we should normally have because of the tenant setup that these people might have. Okay. But when we do, when you will be doing your test tenant, okay, at that point of time, you'll be getting each and every data that you want. If there is anything uh, related to prompt that we want to add, prompt means I hope you are aware. Yeah. Prompt is nothing but whenever we are going to run any report, if there is uh, this specific prompts that we want to specify over there, okay. Yeah. So at that point of time, we can add for an example. Like you can define the duration, the from or and two days. Yes. And you can, yeah. Let us see there is a calibration mode for unbox. Let us select that. We can mention whether we require that or not, or we do not require so. This all option we can select, like whenever we are setting up any prompt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Output. Output is nothing but, for an example, if you want to have any help text or any booklet option. Okay. In that scenario, we set, but mainly uh, this is of no use. Okay. Mm -hmm. Share, like as we have in each and every report, uh, let's share this with all the authorized users that we have. Uh -huh. In advance, 
mainly we configure the basics uh, for the calibration activity. Okay, if there is any that we want to configure. Okay. Yep. Mainly this basics. The special option that you can see. This mainly filters or enables the participant to mainly navigate the target population and filter the workers based on the criteria that we want to set up. Like for an example, maybe related to uh, talent pool or the management chain or supervisory organization. So on that basis, okay. If there is anything uh, that we want to set up, we okay. can go here for an example. I want to do, let me select, see like what our options that we have. Maybe we can select anything randomly. I'm not sure why we are not getting all this option who has made some changes here. Okay. Let me see if I can get something related to channel. If we want to do it this way, I think we can do it. So mainly the patient that we are setting up, okay, we have to just remember one thing, okay, and that mainly this filter that we are setting, it enables, okay, uh, like whichever worker is participating in this, okay, to uh, filter based on the criteria that we want to have, okay, mainly this all out of the options that we will not be mainly selecting. We will be selecting like a management change or management group or talent pool. Okay. Yeah. So like all those options. Okay. And this is all related to this report. Okay. That we can set up. Okay. In advance, we have this optimized for performance. So these all are pretty much common that we have in each and every report in the advanced format. Okay. And we can save this. So this is all mainly how we create the unbox report. Mainly the few things uh, that I want to summarize here, the data source that I mentioned, okay? We have to okay. keep that in mind. Apart from that, the group grouping and the column grouping. This is okay. nothing but the criteria in which we want to run this, okay? okay. And the of uh, what do you say the layout of the report that we want that is what mainly we are going to set up in this matrix tab. Okay, and drill down as you have already seen, we mainly uh, drill down the fields to display in the calibration list view. Like whenever the display, uh, whenever the fields, whatever the fields you want to display. In the calibration list view, we just mainly highlight it over here. Okay. Like you saw, we have highlighted a bit view. So that is what mainly we select. Yeah. Okay. And in the drill down detail type, we define the columns in the list view. Okay. Mainly, what does this field does is this displays any ed additional information about the workers. Like here, we have defined the fields. Okay, apart from that, if there is any additional information about workers that we want, okay, yeah. we can add it over here. And talking about filters, prompts, prompts, you know, like we can set it up, like if there is any need of form that we want to set up. Okay, the main thing here is the data source and the matrix column that we have. Okay, 
and rest of them is pretty much same let me yep. see and run i'm not sure whether this will run or not see we do not have a proper setup here that is the reason why this is not running so what in what we will do is i'm just giving a reference like how to create this uh, unbox report in tomorrow session we will discuss mm -hmm. about calibration program like how to set it up okay and after that okay. normally what i will do is based on the channel setup that we have i will launch our calibration program and we will try to see like how that works 